The Mount, novelist Edith Wharton's home in Lenox, is one of only a few national historic landmarks dedicated to women. Producer Marla Zappé and videographer Mark Langevin recently toured the estate to find out about the cultural and educational center it is today. The Mount is Edith Wharton's home in Lenox, Massachusetts. She lived here for a period of 10 years. And today, it serves as a historic site and a cultural center with a really strong literary track of programming. Edith Wharton moved to the Mount uh, in her 40s. She came to Lenox to build her dream home, a place where she could really focus on her work. Until that point, she was really unknown as an author in the United States. And it wasn't until 1905, during her years here at the Mount, where she published her, her first major novel, The House of Mirth, and it made her an international bestseller. She would write for the next 35 years of her lifetime, producing over 40 works. She was incredibly prolific, and this was really just the starting point for her. The Mount was what she called her first true home, and she designed every element of this property, uh, from the details on the ceiling to the flowers in the garden. And Wharton considered herself a better landscape designer than novelist, which is a pretty bold claim for a Pulitzer Prize winning author. The books at the Mount, part of Wharton's original library, are really the crown jewel of what we have here. They represent her intellectual life and span a variety of genres. Her hunger for learning and thirst for knowledge had no bounds, and the books represent that. Wharton had her photographs taken in the library. You can see her sitting at her desk in the library with a pen to paper, but it's all an elaborate illusion. Wharton actually did her best writing in bed. So she would wake up, write longhand, let the pages fall to the floor as she finished them, uh, and a, a maid or a secretary would type them up at a later time. The Mount really uses Wharton's passions and interests as a guiding principle in what we choose to do here. So she had wide ranging interests in, of course, literature, gardens, design, travel, and our programming reflects those interests. So during the summer, we have lectures, workshops, symposia, with live storytelling events, a wonderful biography series. And during July and August, there's something happening almost every day of the week here. Wharton moved on to Europe. She spent the rest of her life in France, and the Whartons sold this property to a few private owners. It changed hands for a number of years, and in the 1940s, a girls' school moved in. They were here until the mid-70s, using the house as both dormitory and classroom space. So the old kitchen used to be a chemistry lab. When the Fox Hollow School closed in the mid-70s, uh, the house lay dormant for a few years before Shakespeare and Company, a local theater group, moved in and used this as dormitory and performance space. The Mount has been open to the public as a museum since 2002, which was the centennial of the house, and we now run daily house tours, extensive programming, and have exhibits about Wharton's life and times. The bulk of the house restoration was completed from the late 90s into the mid 2000s. It took uh, many hands, it was a lot of work, uh, but we received some of Save America's Treasure's largest grants to really facilitate that process. And we transformed the house from what was described in the New York Times as a sickly white elephant into the resplendent property it is today. We serve about 40,000 visitors annually. The interest in Downton Abbey has not been lost on us. People really are interested in, in this period of history when you had lords and ladies or very wealthy people with extensive staffs. This way of life dissolved not too long after the warden sold the mount. And this is a way to, to learn about that period of time and to understand better uh, why it didn't survive. I believe the Mount is a place uh, that belongs to all of us. This is a, a monument of our cultural heritage as Americans and is a testament to the genius of Edith Wharton. Uh, of course, it is a place where you can come and learn about Wharton, but it's also a place that's alive with current ideas. We celebrate words, literature, and Wharton once said, the air of ideas is the only air worth breathing. And we firmly believe that uh, we want to make the air here as interesting as possible. <laughs>